So the original Beluga was based on the standard A300, while the Beluga XL is based on the A3200. Now a question that many people have been asking is why is the new plane based on the old design like the A330 and not the most modern A350 or the A380, which could generally be more efficient and with better modern avionics. Now we know that Boeing's Dreamlifter is based on the biggest model, the 747. So if Airbus went down this route, it could offer very better payloads and maybe the ability to carry the fuselage sections of the A380s themselves. Well, it's not actually that simple. Considering that one of the main reasons for the introduction of the larger Beluga XL is to meet demands of the A350 production, it doesn't make sense to have a modified A350 for the next transporter. Airbus would rather sell their A350s to customers rather than modify them for internal use. Also, the A380 is supported by many airports near most of Airbus's production centres, which defeats the very purpose of having a Beluga XL fleet. Also, Airbus wants an aircraft which not only meets high payload capabilities, including the capacity to carry two fully fitted A350 wings, but it can also operate with an airfield limitations at one of its facilities in Broughton which is to deliver the A350 wing covers. Now Broughton's landing distance for their shorter runway 04 has an approach of 1,663 meters. Now Airbus considers this restriction to be too tight for a modified A350 or an A34500, while the payload requirement is too high for an A300-600. They believe an A330-200 variant could potentially cope with the landing criteria at projected weights around 135 tons. So in the end it boils down to which aircraft can satisfy two requirements, payload and runway capabilities are broken. So there you go captains, that was just a brief overview as to why Airbus decided to base their new Beluga on the A330 rather than the modern planes like the A350. Now if you have any other information to add, then share it with us in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching my fellow captains, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.